Hello everyone, this is Garrett and this is Serious Sam Classic, the first encounter for the PC and we are in the Moon Mountains. The level where, well this is basically a level where I expect to die a lot, so if I die a lot then I'm I'm very sorry, very sorry indeed. Um, also the bridges break when you walk over them and generally bad things happen after they do. Like a guy that's screaming really loudly appearing and trying to murder me. Also, if you fall off the platform, you are very dead indeed, so try not to fall off the platform. Otherwise, death, and death is bad, and you're over there. I couldn't find you at all. I'm just gonna see, let's see what happens when this guy jumps off the platform. He's not gonna be very happy, uh, if I can get him to. So that's what happens when you jump off the platform. I figured if I showed it, it would probably be more clear than when you just kind of see an enemy do it. So I figured if, yeah, I, I, yes, there, there we go. And this time I choose not to get hit by you, not to get hit by you, quick save, and not to get hit by the guy that's gonna stand over there in a second. Boom, be boom, boom, kaboom, boom, boom. Ah, right. That's, these guys are not being nice. You can actually just run over all the bridges and spawn a whole bunch of stuff, but because all the bridges break when you walk over them, they, um... Yeah, they're just gone, so the most of the enemy enemies can't even even do anything. I just quick save right in front of him. Oh, that's not a very good idea at all. And those lasers were stopped by the magical powers of one amazing... No. How am I not getting hit by these guys? I have no idea. Boom, boom, and death to you. It is definitely very nice that those guys die in one hit, but yeah, this level is kind of dangerous, and there's still something here. The music is telling me so, and I believe the music entirely. And now the music stopped. Fantastic. Uh, and now platform number two, where there's more enemies that spawn on platform number two. And that guy spawned, which is really quite annoying, actually, because he's kind of far away. But fortunately, we, since we got the Tommy Gun in the previous level, and since this is a serious game, <laughs> since this is a serious Sam game, I will get ammo for it now. And I do believe this is one of the levels where you get quite a lot of. Um, I'm not good at talking today. Quite a lot of ammo for the Tommy Gun, and that is good. Yes. Also, you can't actually break the bridges yourself, other than by just walking to the other side. Boom. They even look like rocks for some reason. That's how much they break. Yes. It doesn't break quite as well as when it breaks this rock. And that makes sense because I said so. And where is that guy that's nearly dead? There he is. And if it isn't him, then it is now. Oh, no, it wasn't him at all. You are dead. These people are not being nice. Oh, man, they are spawning all around me. Frankly, uh, granted, if you walk in circles... And I'm just gonna say random words in between sentences like frankly and duck and stuff. But um, yeah, if you just run in circles, generally you'll be okay. <laughs> because these guys are not doing a very good job at hitting anything. I mean, I got hit a few times there, but it didn't really matter. Also, I think earlier in this playthrough I said something like, Oh, these guys do 40 damage, but since this is mental and therefore just hard, I think they only deal like 30, so that's pretty cool. Ammo, ammo, ammo! It's all for me! Hey! Also, there's a secret armor on this platform. Something spawned. It's you. That's uh, not good. That those other guys spawn as well. Because that means I have to move in a weird circle. And that makes me very scared. Because not having room is bad. Uh, can I hit you? I can. That makes me fairly glad, actually. Usually, I miss rockets against these guys. I don't know why, but I find harp is really hard to hit. Even though they find it pretty easy to hit me when I'm close to them, so there you go. Yeah, not nice. And you, I like that you can hear the kick sound, but they don't actually hit. That's also pretty nice. It just makes you a little bit more terrified than you really have to be. And I just picked up one health, apparently. But I believe there's ammo over down here, Ness. And there's an armor over there. How will I grab that? Bonk. Jump! Leap armor! A secret shield it is. And I don't think the shield itself is actually a secret for a change. No, it isn't. Huh. Usually it is. This time it isn't. Why would it be? Haha. <laughs> um, and this is where badness is going to happen because this jump 
Now, basically a secret jump in this level. You don't need to do it, but... Well, one, it's a secret, and two, it makes everything a little bit more manageable. But the jump itself is really hard. I am probably going to die, actually, uh, in a second. But um, you'll, you'll see it when it happens. You will see it when it happens. That is very true for every video in the world. Uh, dead. Thank you. Die. And where is that? There you go. You're just chasing me around like some kind of monster. I'm just going to spawn ammo here. Because I like ammo. And then run back. Because the bridge, the bridge doesn't actually break until you're on the other side. Because it's nice like that. But, um... You have to jump from here to there, and I think in the HD remake, it's actually even harder. <laughs> so, I, th I think this is slip terrain, so if I jump from here, I should not make it at all! And then you fall to your death, and then you don't even jump at all. And then you don't even jump at all. I'm doing a very good job at this so far. I am not jumping, ever. Why? No. And I am actually just tempted to rocket jump again, because this jump is my bane. BANE! And you, I think you do actually get the secret if you rocket jump. Yep, secret passage has been found! And, uh, yeah. That one's kind of hard to see. Another one which is kind of hard to see is all those enemies jumping off a cliff. But also... This little passage here. Which I think is also different than the HD remake, I think. This health is, um... Considerably easier to get in the HD remake because I don't think these rocks are actually here. And, uh, oh god, what did I do? Oh god, why did I do that? That was really bad. That was amazingly bad. But I... Nope. <laughs> I think this might actually mess up a bit in the HD remake because the walls are so close to the edge that you're probably just gonna bounce off of them and die horribly and it'd be really, really sad. Uh, I'm just gonna spawn those enemies. I feel like it. I'm just gonna spawn and kill everything here. Boom. Um... Okay. Boom. Oh no, enemies! The spawn trigger is in a very odd location and you can apparently just walk past it, but... Still, it was pretty spooky in my humble opinion. Whew. Oh, hi. Oh, god, you're behind me. Thank you for sounds from my headset. That should be an album. Sounds from my headset that make me very happy and this... is not a very good description of sounds that make me very happy. I can... I still hear you, but you are near not much at all. Also, this level is one of the reasons why I didn't I chose not to have a death counter in this playthrough. <laughs> because I was knew I was gonna die a million times and it would make me very sad, so I chose not to. Deal with it. <laughs> also these guys. Don't actually spawn unless you walk through the door. They are nice like that. They are they're very um very civil if you ask me. Especially since they barely ever hit ever. And there's actually a health power-up over here if you jump down from there. But the thing is, if you jump down from there, then it's actually impossible to get the secret over there. Because I think there's a trigger here that turns off the ability to get that secret uh, once you go through this door. So I don't exactly know where it is, but it is. if you go through that door, it's impossible to get all secrets in this level 4, as far as I know. So that's kind of a shame. So, can't actually spawn all the enemies in this level unless I do weird rocket jumps, I think. Might be wrong there, I don't really care. You're one enemy. That was not terrifying at all. This is more terrifying. You're spawning behind me. <laughs> hmm. Not as civil as the gnaw that don't actually deal any damage ever. There's still one lot. Oh no, no it isn't. It died. Uh -huh. 100 health and there's guys all the way over there. And can I get him in my target reticle? Yes! I killed it! Hooray! There's another one over there as well. He can't see me either. And oh, the amount of quick save is unbearable for some people. And I think this door... Is it the sound of this door? Yeah, that door closes. And that's... Fairly annoying. Another thing you can actually just do is immediately jump down. There, There is one problem with that, which is that guy. Who you can barely see, but he's definitely there and he'll shoot your minigun at you, but... If you jump down immediately, all of these... Well, some of these harpies won't actually spawn, and all of these harpies will be kind of stuck on the outer ring. So if you just stay very close to the wall down there, nothing really happens except for the guy with the um, chain gun. Which is definitely fairly easy to do as well, and uh, definitely an easier way to get around this area. Because walking in a circle in this place is actually a really bad idea. 
because a lot of enemies spawn that wouldn't actually spawn otherwise because a bunch of enemies spawn while you're on the upper little ridge here and if you're down there they i don't think they can even spawn but i'm not entirely sure about that anyway that was all my ammo and i'm just gonna kill that guy because he makes me very sad Rawr. Huh. i thought there was another one of those minigun arcanoid arcnids what are they called i have no idea no, that's not it. Uh, Arachnoid. There we go. That's the name I was going for. Arachnoid Juvenile. The red ones are adults. Now you know. Oh, God. I did not know you existed. But now I do. And knowing is half the part of making things very dead. And now... There we go. I was wondering where you were. I was for a second, I was thinking, Hey, that person who I loved so much, she's gone from my life forever. But in fact, she was standing right there. Lovely. So, now we walk in this direction. And I think, if I remember correctly, this is where I need to give a seizure warning. <laughs> because, basically, once I go there, stuff happens. And if you're prone to seizures, don't look at the screen until I tell you to look at the screen again. Because, blinkies. Lots and lots of blinkies. Now, I'm not even sure if you can see it blink in the video, actually. Because it's blinking really rapidly. But uh, I can tell you for a fact that if you're currently not looking at the screen, it is very unpleasant to look at. And fortunately, they, they are all dead now. So you can commence looking at the screen again if you are prone to seizures, as previously stated in this video. Water! More importantly, annoying enemies that fly around and are bastards. But I can't see them. Where are they? I know you're here. Or do I actually have to pick up things? I don't even remember anymore. I'm good at memory today. But I do know if it's that I pick these up. Behind me. Fish. 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 Okay, maybe it's this one. Fish. 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 There we go. This is really bad. Invisible fish are probably one of the more annoying things in this game. And it's quite amazing that just before they die, they seem to blink weirdly up there that's i don't know what that's all about but they do and that makes them quite rude because it makes me think there's more of them and i don't like thinking there's more of them and now there's harpies that i don't think were there before fish why are you on land fish you're a fish you're not supposed to be on land oh man that is quite bad yes to you and I'm not actually sure if there's health power-ups over here. I mean, I know there's one health power-up, which I'm going to get, but... Oh, there's one over there. I will get that one, too. And die from all the murderous fishy fish. Die, die. Please don't spawn from behind me. That would be really bad. They didn't spawn behind me. I am now not sad. That is my rhyme for today. Anyway, this is a secret health. Secret serious health, even. Ooh, that's quite healthy. And more fish spawned over there. No, they didn't. Oh, I thought they did. I guess they didn't. I was very wrong. I'm telling lies about fish and their spawning habits. But I'm sure they'll spawn out. Why not? Hmm, okay. I'm just gonna pick up everything. Yeah, <laughs> why not? We've been swimming around here for so long, I might as well just pick up everything. What could possibly go wrong? Everything could go horribly, horribly wrong. That's what could go wrong, actually. But that is not important. What is important is that we are going in here. Where there is an enemy. And he is very scary. Ah, oh, man. That was not nice. That was an unfriendly way to show how to live in your in living environment. Unless you could just claw everyone in the face, then it's okay. But I, I, I still think it's not really the right way to go. Um, so there's a secret here, but I'm not actually sure if doing certain things will get rid of it. So I'm just going to make a quick save here, and I'm just going to walk forward and die horribly. Oh no, it's you again! Only now we're in a very tight and confined area, and I feel very sad that I did this. Um, don't hit me because your red balls hurt so much! Ooh, you have so little health on mental difficulty! Uh, did I shoot him three times? Yay! Happiness! Please go away, you evil balls of murdering. Oh god, I don't even remember this. I don't, once again, this is one of those places where I don't usually do it normal at all. Because it just seems like a really bad idea. 
But I guess if you're going for the HD remake leaderboards, this is how you're going to have to go along with it. Because I have to kill as many things as possible and the spawns are usually quite similar. Really. Okay, that's that done. Do do do. Walk forward. Spawn everything in the world. Spawn everything. Die horribly. Again, if you don't pick that up, I don't think these guys even spawn. Except for the bull, maybe. I think he might spawn. Oh, screwballs. I'm. Can I? Okay, I can still do that. Uh, well, I wasn't actually sure. You can actually break that door before it slides down, which is kind of interesting. And I honestly do recommend that you do that because of something you will see soon. But the secret backstage has been opened, as it said earlier. And I'll show off in a second what that actually means. In fact, I'll do that right now because I've killed all the enemies. So we can walk back here and then boom, teleporter. Secret teleporter has been found. Now we're over here. So... Basically, if you take this teleporter, all the stuff in this little middle part won't spawn because you walk past all the spawning triggers and everyone will be very happy. And I forgot that there's armor over there and I want that. So, we are gonna go back and grab it because I love wasting everyone's time. Hooray! Do I have rockets? Nope, I am lacking rockets. Must grab those too. Will this spawn enemies? I don't know. No, it does not. Oh, nearly jumped off there. Again, jumping down here, not a very good idea. And I'm actually kind of curious because you you can you are over there. That's the circular part. So I wonder if you can jump from there to here. That would be actually kind of interesting. I've never tried doing that. It's probably a really really bad idea. Uh, and this is also really okay. Yeah. So if you um, take the teleporter and are here, the bull will still spawn, and um, that's why I wasn't sure if the bull spawned or not. But um, that will basically just spawn when you're standing here, and then you're kind of in trouble if you're not prepared for it. Which is kind of bad. But that was the end of the level. We are going to swim, or start menacing, menacingly in front of the water, as we got all the secrets. Okay, I'm kind of surprised about that, actually. But, um, yes. That was Moon Mountains. That was one of the levels where I figured I would die the most, and I probably did because of all that failed jumping. But this is a... Oh, wow, there's actually enemies over there already. I like how there's enemies that are shooting me in, in the cutscene. Makes me very happy to be alive. Uh, die, leave... Oh, my... I never noticed that. If you're in the water, your, your aim is wobbly. I did not know that at all. Anyway, secret waterfall, and that's all I'm going to do for today because I'm very lazy. So I'm going to end the recording here, so I hope you... Right, that guy's going to die. Uh, where are you? There you are. This is a bad thing to do. I will kill that guy and then we'll end the recording because laziness. But yeah. Doo -doo -doo. I'm holding the left mouse button. Most skilled player in the world. Okay. So, back into my waterfall cave. Where my R ammo used to live. And yeah, gonna end the video here. So I hope you enjoyed it so far. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.